to another video. As you guys can see from the title and thumbnail, I'm gonna be doing an oil cooling system on my Dyna. All right, let's do the quick unboxing. So this is from a Ultra Cool Oil Cooling System. And I got it from PC Racing, shout out to PC Racing. So the reason why I got this, I was just um, having problems with the Dyna since it's not like um, water cool. It has a switch. I forget what it's called. So when it gets really hot, it turns off the engine. So you want to like blow the motor on there. I had issues with the bike. Um, one of them was um, when I took it to TJ for TSR, the stunt ride. I'll link it up here. We we're riding from Rosarito to like TJ. It's like hills up and down hills and stuff like that like a lot of twisties or whatever trying to get to the spot long story short we pulled over because we had gotten lost with the gps and you know if you guys are familiar with tj you guys probably know what i'm talking about it's crazy out there with the roads and stuff so we pulled over and and i felt the bike kind of like thumping like it was just making a weird um sound so i'm like let me just pull over and uh see what, what's wrong with it we pulled over and um I turned that off. I was like, fuck it. Well, meanwhile, we look for the directions. And so I go back to turn it on and it made this weird, like, clanking sound. I don't know, it was weird. And I was like, fuck, don't tell me I bought a fucked up bike. Not knowing that it was just, um, it was normal thing to do for the, for the Harleys. That they had this little thing. Well, it's not a little thing. I forget what it's called. I'll, I'll put it right there in the description or on the screen there to let you guys know what it's called. Sorry for the long story, but uh, this is why the whole reason why I wanted to get this oil cooling system. This is the whole reason of this video. I'm just giving you a little side story. I was already thinking about like the worst shit ever. I let it cool off and it turned back on like after like 10 minutes. We made it to the spot, but we were there late. And I was like, fuck, I got to figure out what's wrong with the bike. And you know, when something's wrong with your bike, you start researching shit. And I was like, I came across uh, like a Harley forum saying that it was probably a needed a tune or something some kind of shit i was like and i'm kind of new to this harley shit and i was like well i'm probably have to tune it so let me uh, hit up a, a harley dealership here they can uh see if they can help me out with it I did a a youtube search and i came across like why harleys run hot and stuff like that the whole point to this long ass story is that my bike was just running too hot I bought it and I didn't know what's wrong with it, so I started doing research and stuff. And now we're here, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and uh, install, hopefully all in one video. So stay tuned, hopefully you guys are liking the channel and the content. Thanks to uh, PC Racing for, for the quick response and what you guys send out. Thanks for everything. Check them out, I'll link their um, description down below, PC Racing. If you guys are interested in an ultra cool system, I'll link their information down below. You guys can get it off their website. So anyways, let's get on with this video. We got a long way to go. Can't wait to install this shit. So yeah, thanks again. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We got the merch coming. Uh, make sure you guys cop or at least if you guys can like the video and subscribe to support the channel. That'd be cool. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. So yeah, let's get this video rolling. comes with everything all the instructions all the wiring it's pretty much uh they were saying it was all plug and play so that's what it comes with i got the complete kit and it comes with but yeah they sent everything this is the fan it has two fans on there Pretty cool, ultra cool. So it comes with that. Also, they send me an oil filter. Thank you guys. It's a reusable oil filter. So this kind of um, cools your oil as well. The guys over at uh, PC Racing were telling me, and this is a adapter. I'll take it out of the bubble wrap. Anyways, all the instructions are here. 
to send you like step by step instructions. Pretty dope. Your mounts, side mounts here, some tie, zip ties, the send you lock tight too as well. Everything that's on here. I mean this is what I'm gonna use as well. Everything in here is nice and clean cut. You know, it's all plug and play, so hopefully, wish me luck, hopefully everything goes good. And I'm able to ride this bike on Sunday, today's Friday, I'm just making a quick video. Send out some cool stickers. And they also sent me a shirt. Thanks for the shirt, guys, and a cool hat. I'm always rocking hats, thanks for the hats, guys. So yeah, let's get this install going. Hopefully you guys are liking the video. If you guys um, obviously clicked on us because you guys are interested in uh, getting an oil cool system, I think you guys should go for it. I'm going to go do a review later on down the road, see um, what my thoughts and uh, little tips I can give you guys. But yeah, for now, let's do the install. Strap down the bike. I'm ready to raise it up and start working on it. I don't know, I feel sketchy about this Harbor Freight stuff. I said I wasn't gonna buy shit from there anymore. But they got me trusting their bike over here. Hopefully it doesn't lean. Now let's start being the show on the road, guys. Smash the like button, guys. Subscribe, you guys are new. You guys are kidding that everybody's subscribing like crazy now. Even though if you guys are not trying to cop merch, just help us out with the like on the video if you guys really like it. We're gonna try our best to put more content out there. Start by, we're gonna start by removing the oil filter. And I don't know if the oil pan is gonna fit under there. We have to drain the whole oil. At the same time, I'm gonna give it an oil change, obviously. It's the first oil change, it's about to reach 5,000 miles. So I kinda wanna do two things at the same time. The oil change that it's due, and then the oil cooling system at the same time. So stay tuned for this video, don't click out, let's see how it goes. Alright, we're going to remove the oil filter, get the oil pan there so it can drain down. And then since I'm going to do the oil change, I'm also going to remove that drain bolt down there. I'm going to grab all the tools for that and drain it off. Alright, so we're going to remove the oil from the engine. So another quick little tip. So you can get some airflow when you're draining the oil. You want to take out the dipstick, get some airflow in there, help you release it. So I'm having trouble taking out the oil filter since so there's no space. So like a little cap that goes on there, and you just put a wrench to it, and you just take it off because there's no space right here to take off the damn oil filter. I was using the fucking the wrench here, but it's not working. All right guys, so what I did, I took out the horn. I had to take it off so I can get more space to work with. So finally I was able to loosen up the oil filter. Now we take out the oil filter and drain the rest of the oil that's on there. So now step one, we gotta remove Obviously the oil filter and we gotta take off that little bolt right there. Cause the one that comes with, it's a little bit longer so you're able to connect the adapter. So I'm gonna remove that really quick. All right, so for the next step, you wanna remove this part right there from the inside of the, the oil filter, I mean. You wanna remove this part. It goes in there, it kinda gets blurry. So we're gonna replace it with the one they send which is a little bit longer and it says to put Loctite on it and then torque it down 
So I'm gonna do that really quick. So now for the next step, you get the oil adapter. We're gonna take off the six bolts. I don't know if you guys can tell. Check out the small six bolts in here. It's one, and then there's three more up there. Two down here, and then you're gonna take it apart. You're gonna put letter C first. Just follow the instructions on the book that it comes with. You're gonna install this part first, and then you're gonna put letter B, which is the, letter B is the seal. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a blue seal on there. And that goes second, and then letter A goes last. So let me put down the camera. So in the instruction it says put letter C in first at 11 o'clock and then torque down this uh, one inch bolt or I should say one inch nut. Torque it down and then uh, clean off the excess uh, Loctite on there. You don't want to put too much. So let me torque it down before I go to step six. So I got letter C which is the far back adapter and then A and B are together which is B, letter B is the gasket that goes in the middle of the two and then this is uh, letter A. So now I just gotta um, torque them down and then we'll go move on to the next step. Don't forget to use Loctite on these bolts as well, there's six of them, two on top and then four on the bottom. Don't forget to put the Loctite. So let me torque them down. Now that I got them in there hand tight, I'm gonna torque them down and then I'm gonna move on to the next step. All right, so for the next step, after you torque down the bolts down there, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna do it in a star, star shape. Just uh, look at the instructions and it'll show you where to start. So the next step is you move on to the bracket here. I moved on the, I moved that out of the way, the clutch cable. And this is uh, the bracket where you're, um, the fans, I should say the fan, that you're going to want to install on this side. You also want to use um, Loctite on there and the clamps that's going to hold your um, your fans pretty much. So let me do that next step and then uh, I'll show you guys how far I get. kind of took my time to align the brackets. This is where I'm going to go with. I already kind of test fitted the, the fan, the cooling system. And the kind of the cool thing that they give you is this small bracket right here. I don't know if you guys can see. This bracket helps you align the top and the bottom bracket. These two right here. So this bracket, after you align the brackets on the side, you take it off. And this is where your the cooling fan is going to go. Pretty much it for that part. So now I'm going to install the fan really quick. And then I'm going to get to uh, this part down here. I'm going to have to um, connect the hoses for it. I installed the fan on there. You just gotta find out where do you want your clutch cable either sticking out like this or towards the back. So to you guys, I kinda had it on the back sticking out like that. I think I like that better than this. So after that you're gonna wanna connect your hoses. Your uh, lines down here and they go towards the, the adapter there. Sorry the camera is being all weird. I don't know if you guys can see down there. So this thing's sticking out. There we go. So you're gonna connect your hoses for the oil to run in and out of the oil cooling system. And then these are the other two down here. So this is where you want to connect the rest. And then I'll show you guys where this connector goes. Stay tuned guys. So you got the oil lines down there. I don't know if it's picking it up. So this is nice and installed. It's taking a little bit longer than I expected but it's gonna get done guys. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for uh, liking the videos and stuff like that. Motivates me to do more. I want to show you guys the oil filter by Flow. It's a reusable oil filter so I'm gonna install this and I also wanted to show you guys the thing that I've kind of been reading instructions all over and over um, as far as the wiring this is for the fan here and then that one wait, right there that one connect over there it's pretty
pretty much black on black there. That's for, so the black connector is for the thermal switch, okay? So this is a black connector here. And that copper thing over there that's connected by the adapter, that's, that's the thermal switch. So you connect the thermal switch to the black adapter there. And then you move on, it's like a three piece. Once, and then one of them is for the the great connectors for the fan, and then the second one's optional for your LED light. So the LED light, you're obviously gonna run it up to your bars, and then you throw over your all your wiring to the right side of the of the bike or the frame, and you're gonna zip tie it across. But first, I'm gonna install the, the oil filter. All right, we got our oil filter in there. I flow and then I tucked in all the wiring. You want to run them through the back and you want to run them through the right side of the bike. So I got my cables down here. And then you guys can tell it's kind of dark. So the cables run out through here. This is the, the LED light that's going to go up the bars up in the frame here and you're gonna install that up there in the bars I'll probably show you guys that tomorrow and so this is where you run the cables to the back and then you run it through the top here and then there's this uh, adapter that I'm gonna go get right now you plug it into your battery and then you kind of let them sit in here that's pretty much it so let me do all that right now and then show you guys how far I get on this side here. Stay tuned guys. Make sure if the video is helpful to you guys, so drop a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe guys. I'm trying my best out here. Alright guys, we're back. Same video, different day. So last night I left off on running the wires down here, all the way down. So this is going to run through the inside and then should come out through here and you also we're going to connect these wires here that come with so the blue wire goes into the yellow for the 2017 just check the instructions so you guys won't get all confused this is the part that you need for the 2017's uh, accessories and stuff so for the relay blue cable let me show you guys the blue cable so once you get all the way up here you connect the relay the black and the and the red goes to your battery obviously and then that white box connects to this one once you bring out the cable from under the bike you connect it to that one to this white one here and then this relay you can uh, put it on there so after that you can open up this box where your battery is at the right side of the bike you want to put negative with negative and positive with positive on your battery make sure your main fuse is off as well and then this is a relay here that goes on this uh, yellow cable here it goes in here goes straight in there and then you want to use a heat gun slightly you don't want to melt any other cables that you might damage so you want to use a heat gun so it can kind of close itself for now before I show you guys all that, at the same time I'm doing the oil cooling system, I'm also doing an oil change because it was due. I'm at 5,000 miles right now. I'm going to add some oil just to make sure nothing's leaking. And then obviously I'm going to take it for a run after I'm done with everything. But right now I'm going to add one quart. I'm using the Moto 20W50 synthetic, full synthetic oil for the Harleys. So I'm going to put one quart and see and inspect the, the bike hopefully it's not leaking or anything from anywhere so let me do that really quick and then i'll get back to you guys so by the meantime the oil's sitting down there i can finish all this and see if it's leaking or not stay tuned all right i put one quart and we check down here see if it's not leaking check out the oil filter check out any of these lines after you, you run the bike as well i'm gonna continue with the Electrical part here, so we can finish off and uh, finish off the adding the oil on it and taking it on the road, so we can do the little test. 
So I wanted to show you guys the wiring. So once you um, bring up the wiring up here, this is the relay. The negative charge here and the positive charge. What I did, I brought out the battery a little bit so I can run down the cables through here on this side. And then the red one just shoots straight across. I think I should be fine on that. There's no other way you guys can install it. If there is, make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know if you guys found another way to install it. To that, what you want to do is put in the relay into the yellow. It goes on the yellow there for the 2017. And then you use a heat gun to shrink it and so it can stay in place. After all that, uh, you put the main switch back on. Obviously, finish the oil change if you guys are doing the oil change at the same time. And then uh, also, this is the little LED light that goes on the on the bars here to let you know when is the fan turning on all right guys so we ran cables up here obviously i connected them to the battery already we took everything in so the blue relay um cable that i was showing you guys i'm going to connect it to the yellow cable here yellow housing and then you want to strip a little bit of the plastic of the blue one so you get some wire showing and then you want to connect it to the yellow and then after that the instruction says use a little bit of uh, heat from a heat gun so you can uh so you're able to move around the plastic and close it so i just did that and i wanted to secure it with some uh electric tape so that's pretty much it i want to tuck every everything in and then i'm going to move on to the led light that's optional though but then after that uh, I'm gonna add the rest of the oil and then I'm gonna take it for a spin. If you guys are doing the oil change as well, you wanna check if you don't have any oil spills or anything in case the bolt is loose for any reason. Just check all your all your work. And make sure you guys don't rush, take your time. For the LED light, that's optional. It comes with a little bracket. So what you wanna do instead before you even connect it, let me show you guys. Before you connect the wires into a little housing, you want to take off the little nut that it comes with and you want to put the bracket in between you know you guys want to do that first put the bracket in between the nut here and the led light so you're going to come here on your uh, bar here and you're going to take one of the screws on there and you're going to use it you're going to use the adapter on there to kind of hold the bracket for your led light if it makes sense that's totally up to you if you guys want to use it or not but i'm just going to put it on there anyways kind of tuck it in if you guys want on the bottom and then you're going to run it run the line through the bars all the way down and then um, i'll show you guys how i connected everything up there before the led light it doesn't come with instructions but let me show you guys now it comes with this the yellow clip in here what's not yellow it's orange it'll be in there like that and this is the gray housing so you just want to put them in there like that and then you go down there and then you connect it back up i'll get back to you guys once i connect everything down and show you guys here it's gonna run down through the bars well that's the way i'm gonna run it run it through the bars down the bars here and then the main frame and we'll have it right here all the way down to the frame and then um the adapters down there which is the three-piece adapter I know you guys seen this in the beginning of the video when I rewind it, it connects to the fan. So it's in there somewhere, but that's where you gotta connect it. Okay guys, we got the LED light running down with the brake cable. Down to the main frame on the bike here. Uh, a little tip for you guys, if you guys are watching it this far, Try to keep the cables away from like hot surfaces such as exhaust and anything like that. So what I did, I kind of put it away from it, kind of like towards the outside. And then obviously when you're running your cables down here, try to do the same thing. Try to like keep them away from hot surfaces. And that's pretty much it for the install. Hopefully um, it's pretty much straightforward for you guys. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys comment down below. I'll try to answer as much as I can possible. I'm going to do a review down the road and see how, how it turns out and if I like it. It's definitely recommend it to you guys. But yeah, for now, that's going to be it for the install. But we're going to finish off with the oil. Video. Don't forget, tuck in everything on this side here. Don't forget the main fuse to put it back on there. Mm -hmm. Big ass fuse. So that's not going in here. Okay. 
I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna hear it snap. There we go. So that's on there. That's pretty much it. Lower the bike. Run the bike. At, um, obviously, it's gonna need some oil. You wanna put two, uh, two point five quarts. If it needs a little bit more, then just check the dipstick. But that's pretty much it. I'ma lower it. Put the seat. And I'ma run the bike. Let's give it a thumbs up and subscribe for this um install. See you guys in the next one. Peace.